Yes, this is my intro. It, it, it's all I could afford. Uh, maybe there's another intro where there's 13 of me wearing all kinds of different costumes. But as far as this universe goes, this is the intro. You work with what you got. Damn it, even this intro's falling apart. So how's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I just got out of seeing everything everywhere all at once. You know, it was a 20 minute car ride home and it wasn't necessarily about what I was going to say about this movie. It was, how do I describe this fucking movie? <laughs> so bear with me. Um, This is definitely a movie that is good for talking about. It's definitely made for that. But as far as reviewing goes, I don't know if this one's quite in the bag. <laughs> so just again, just bear with me. I'm going to explain this best I can. So, Everything Everywhere All at Once follows a woman named Evelyn, played by Michelle Yeoh, and she is a mother and a wife who is on the verge of a divorce. Um, her relationship with her daughter is kind of falling apart, along, again, with her marriage. Uh, she also works at a laundromat that is just in the shitter <laughs> and it's actually connected to our home so it's vi so as you can see it's one of those kind of character storylines we've seen them many times in many movies and where the film actually takes off and where we start getting into the hang of things we see michelle's character uh evelyn sitting with an irs agent played by jamie lee curtis trying to pay off her taxes she is extremely behind she's over, they're all overdue, and what ends up happening is this IRS agent basically says, look, this is it, you need to pay this by 6 p.m. tonight. No more chances, it needs to happen tonight. <laughs> so as you can see, her whole life is pretty much falling apart. And out of the blue, something happens where her surroundings and where reality just goes into a funk. She finds out that her husband that is actually with her is not her legitimate husband. And so the whole point of this movie is basically this hu her husband uh, that we see on, on the scene is actually a husband from another dimension of millions of endless universes with different versions of each of these characters. And he's basically here to recruit the right Evelyn to take down uh, the villain of the movie known as Jobu Topaki, which is actually her daughter. Well, a form of her daughter. It's a villain that holds her daughter's soul. And again, with each character, we see endless different versions and characters of in many, many different dimensions. So this villain, although it is her daughter, uh, as far as like physical appearance goes, she actually has different characters as well. And what's really cool about this movie is that with each universe that Evelyn visits, she actually picks up different skills and has, again, different characters. There's one where she's a kung fu master. There's one where she's a movie star. We even see a point in one of the universes where uh, we see her at a premiere for like Crazy Rich Asians. There's a, a, even like a universe where they're actually watching the movie that we are as the audience seeing. There's one where everybody's a fucking made out of hot dogs. <laughs> and basically her superpower is that if she does something really bizarre and fucking weird in whatever universe or time zone that she's in, she can jump cut to another universe. So basically... What it comes down to, God, we've been rambling for like four minutes here. <laughs> I haven't even talked about what I like and dislike. So basically what it comes down to is that her husband from another universe is trying to recruit the proper Evelyn to save the world from the villain, which is holding the soul of her daughter. And basically at the end of it, what, what it comes down to is that this is a movie about time, matter, everything and everywhere. And right now... In this moment right here and now that that's all out of the way uh, yeah there's a lot to like about this movie um if you've seen films like for example it's such a beautiful day which is one of my favorite films of all time 
or another A24 film, uh, A Ghost Story, those have to do with existence and the universe and time travel and endless different, you know, again, universes and theories and, you know, time being irrelevant and conclusions and choices, all kinds of batshit nonsense, just literally everything. So those are some of my favorite movies, and this one is equally as just psychotic <laughs> this movie was insanity i mean it's it doesn't have you know farting corpses but it has people with the hot dogs for fingers so i mean there's that it's a daniels film i i feel like with this movie they did everything they possibly could with it and not just did everything they went everywhere they possibly could with this movie i mean with for a almost three hour film about millions of different universes they really packed as much as they could into this movie they're like look it's an a24 film we're visiting millions of different dimensions we are going to go millions of different ways and there really is no prepping anybody for this movie this movie is a two and a half hour film filled with multiple millions of different versions of each character going to the most bizarrest of routes. It is just surprise after surprise after surprise in the most surprising ways from beginning to end. And the acting, the emotions, the camera work, everything in between that you would expect out of a Daniels A24 multi- million fucking dimension movie <laughs> this probably gets as to the t as it possibly could again i liked a lot of this movie but i mean i do think it does things that are a little bit uh, unnecessary it goes to some routes that you know i don't think were really necessary that we didn't really need sometimes it hangs on some aspects or some certain things way too long but hey as the movie tells us, in the end, nothing really matters. But for the sake of this review, um, again, yes, the things that I liked. Um, camera work was phenomenal. Uh, the acting was absolutely the best thing of the film to me. Um, there is a lot going on in this film. There's a lot to take out from it. But as far as like my favorite thing, I thought everybody was so good in this movie. Michelle Yeoh, as well as uh, I think her name is Stephanie Sue, if I can remember, uh, played the daughter. Absolutely phenomenal, as well as the husband. Just, just great stuff. Um, another thing I really liked about this film is that it was a very genre bending movie. <laughs> it is very comedic. It is very action packed. And it even had some moments that were genuinely terrifying. Most notably toward Jamie Lee Curtis's character as well as the villain in the film. And again, going back to all the different universes that are, you know, displayed in the film. Again, there are ones where it kind of breaks the fourth wall where we see like uh, Michelle Yeoh at like a premiere for like Crazy Rich Asians for a moment. Uh, one where it actually shows like an audience watching this movie. There's even like references to like other movies in this movie which you know I'm not gonna spoil too many surprises but at this point I don't really think it matters because of the endless Easter eggs and endless w routes that this movie actually goes down I don't really know how much more I could say I mean it's probably give or take you know I could talk forever or I could just keep it as basic as I possibly can as standard as they possibly can because with this movie it again it is a very hard one to review and I don't know if it's quite in that bag, but for the sake of this review in this universe, I'm going to give this film personally a 6.1 to a 6.2. Now, I did enjoy this film. Again, there were things about it that I definitely felt were a little bit drawn out and unnecessary where, you know, I'm not going to say it could have done more. It probably couldn't have, but it could have gone to some more different routes sometimes i think it goes a little bit overboard with daniels doing their daniels shit but this is still a good movie that i still recommend <laughs> again there's no farting corpses but those fucking hot dog fingers <laughs> i was talking to lane about this um he personally gave this an eight jacob gave it a nine so you know all good reviews uh from here uh the movie is actually getting a lot of great acclaim and i do recommend it especially in a theater i'm just saying over ambulance, 
And Sonic, dude, go see this movie. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this review. Um, I'm going to be taking a few days off after this. Uh, I got a pup show I'm going to tomorrow with the fellas. And I'm going to be out of town for a few days. And then I will be back with a Northman review on the 21st. Can't wait for that. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know of what you guys thought about this movie. I would love to talk about it with you guys. Um, let me know of what you guys thought about the video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys again on the 21st. And you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching.